In the last episode, we learned that, despite their hard exoskeleton, corals are fragile and extremely sensitive to changes in their habitat. In this episode, we will learn that coral reefs are spread throughout the planet. They live in both cold and warm waters, yet they occupy less than 0.1% of the world's ocean floor, which is about half the area of the country of France. Coral reefs prosper best where the water is warm, shallow, clear, and oligotrophic, meaning that the water provides few nutrients. That usually means they thrive best in the tropics, extending from approximately 30 degrees north to 30 degrees south of the equator. But how exactly do they flourish in the ocean equivalent of a desert with very few nutrients? This is something that Charles Darwin, nearly 180 years ago, was wondering as well. Coral reefs manage to survive in oligotrophic waters thanks to a very efficient way of recycling nutrients, which preserves their energy. As we mentioned earlier, coral reefs can mostly be found in the warm, luminous, and comfy zones surrounding the equator. However, coral habitats can range from near the surface to deep into the abyss, beyond 2,000 meters down, where water temperatures may be as cold as 4 degrees Celsius. Like tropical corals, these deep-dwelling corals provide habitats for other species. However, deep-water corals do not require zooxanthellae to survive. Instead, they feed solely on food particles they take out of the water. These corals do not form proper coral reefs, but aggregations called mounds, which more accurately describes the large calcium carbonate skeleton that is left behind as a reef grows and corals below die off. The existence of coral species in North Atlantic waters, such as those present off the coast of Norway, has been known by fishermen and scientists for decades. Still, most of Norway's coral reefs have only been discovered within the past 10 years, and it is only recently that we have come to learn how important they really are. Cold water coral reefs are among the richest habitats in Europe, stretching 4,500 kilometers, twice the size of the Great Barrier Reef, and are real biodiversity hotspots on the seafloor, with more than 750 species depending on these mounts. While coral reefs are rare along the west coasts of the Americas and Africa, due primarily to strong cold coastal currents and upwelling, most coral reefs are primarily located on the eastern side of the continents. The Coral Triangle, which is an area located between the Pacific and Indian Oceans, encompasses the tropical waters around Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, the Solomon Islands, and Timor-Leste. Named for its staggering number of corals, which numbers around nearly 600 different species of reef-building corals, the reef is responsible for 76% of all known coral species in the world, and is home to a great quantity of marine creatures, including over 2,000 species of reef fish, whale sharks, elegant manta rays, and the colorful clownfish. As we have learned today, coral reefs can be found all around the world. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will learn more interesting facts about corals.